Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 with Zombies Always Running, episode 115. So the last episode, we went on a little bit of an adventure. We actually visited our old base, and we started to get some uh, reinforced steel upgrade from the traders so that I could build something for uh, Gritty in the last episode. Now, it's still uh, drying currently, but the concrete is uh, its almost there, so there's still a few left to dry, but as you can see, it's, it's getting there slowly but surely. There's a couple left on this face and a bit over here but eventually this is going to be uh, a grind the gaming sledge in the stone so i thought instead of a sword in the stone we could use uh, a sledge in the stone instead and i thought that would work uh, that would work pretty well so you're actually talking about this a little bit on uh, on my discord which by the way you can find if you did want to add me in uh it's in it's on my channel page so if you guys are interested in talking to me on there then i am about um but yeah i thought i'd go ahead and do something like this just to uh yeah, just to have something nice for uh, Grinny going going forward. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, that is uh, Grinny's Sledge in the Stone. So it's getting there slowly. Eventually, once this is all dried off, we're going to upgrade the whole lot of it to steel. And then we're going to do some reinforced steel upgrades on this. So most of it is uh, getting there slowly but surely. Hopefully, by the time we have done some of the stuff for the next thing in this episode, some of this stuff will be dry and we can go ahead and uh, do that. So... Let's have a look and see what we can do. So in this episode, um, Victor had asked me a while ago if I could uh, build a house for him. So I said I would. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can do that. Now, there's not really too much room left. So I think we're going to have to use... I think this space would do for a house. Now, uh, it's not going to be anything significantly big. It's going to be kind of just a regular sized house and maybe we'll add some uh, maybe we'll add some nice things to it and Victor was saying I that he uh liked swords as well so I don't know how we're gonna get a, a sword kind of thing going but I'll see if I can do something and we'll see I mean I guess what I could do oh I know I know what I could do for a sword kind of thing let's get some concrete wedges hang on so again this will require some drying before I can make this uh I can make this work but let's get some uh let's get some concrete wedges here so wedge tips is what i'd like um we're gonna have eight of them and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty big but yeah i've, I've got an idea of how we can do this um so let's try let's try something like this so let's get those ready and made up and then we're gonna upgrade them to reinforce concrete so that we can dry them later because i'm thinking the best way we could have like a, a sword kind of pattern I, I don't know if we can have them can we have them sideways? I'm not even sure if we can. No, it doesn't look like we can have them in the direction that we want. I was thinking of doing them kind of one above the other and then having something like that, but I don't know. Unless we have like a... Hmm. No, I don't think it's going to work what I was planning on doing. Okay, that's that's not going to work. So, because I was thinking we could have like the concrete uh, the concrete wedge. It's a bit like how we did in Sabres. I was thinking of doing it one like upside down and one the other way. But unfortunately, it's not going to work. So I know you like swords, Victor, but I can't make it work due to uh, the block rotations. So we, it's not offering me all of the different possibilities of block rotations. So unfortunately, I can't do anything to do really with uh, swords. I might be able to come up with something else, though. Um, so we'll see what we've got. But yeah, let's start working on this house then. So I think we're going to use... I mean, we could use this bit of land right here because that, uh, that seems pretty empty. So that might benefit from something. Or we could go ahead and use this little plot down here, which will have more room, is what I'm thinking. We'll have more room to, to build here. So it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a huge house, I wouldn't have thought. Let's just see. Yeah, I think we're gonna build it over here. Let's get some uh, let's get some frames on the go. Just so I've got plenty of them to use if I need them. Let's get because uh, I wanna plan this out first. Let's get 40 wood frames. And that should be enough to at least uh, plan out the outside. And then it will start building this up as well. So I think we could have it from this point here. Let's see how wide we can do this on this plot of land. I think we could do a seven. Yeah, seven. a seven wide would be good. And let's see if we can come back this way. So seven, and then we'll come back along here. And then that'll be a seven at that point there. Unless, actually, what I think we'll do, we'll take some back from here. And we'll have it. It's not going to be a, a huge building. It's going to be a, it's going to be a small house. But you know, Victor said, you know, I just want a house. So that's that's what it's going to be. Just a just a small house. Uh, we could probably. I should have a shovel ready, but let's get rid of this one here. And then we're going to come back along there. And I think that'll do. It'll be you know a, a small little house. And I think that'll be it'll be quite nice to just have something down here just to fill just to fill it out a little bit. So let's go and see how we can do this. So we can get rid of these plant fibers here. 
by, hang on, is there a, is there a stone or something there? No. Okay. Yeah, just got to get rid of these uh, bushes occasionally because they are going to get in the way a little bit because I've not, I've not cleared some of this stuff out. So let me just go and quickly do that. There we go. So yeah. There we go. So we can grab those and start pulling them back. So let's go. Five there would make it easiest for me to work with, I think. And then we can go there. So that's the frame of the house that I want to do. So I think we're going to make it. Yeah, that's, I think that size would work very nicely. So how many floors are we going to need? Two, so we're going to need three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So that's 30, 35, 44. So we're going to need 50, 50 wood frames. And I think I had 40 something. So let me go ahead and get, um, let me get like 20 more. Actually, actually no, let me get, uh, let me get 100 because then that would cover a top as well. I think that'll work pretty nicely. All right, that'll work. All right, so where is... I should have some flagstone blocks in here, right? I do. Cool. So we're going to take these out and we're going to replace those with some flagstone. So let's go ahead and start doing uh, this side of things. And then we can put the floor in and then get that started off. And then we can start building up on the outside. Now I'm going to make this slightly different to uh, other houses and things. So I'm going to probably try and use the wood, uh, the wood half slabs because I thought they looked pretty nice. And I think I should be using that design a little bit more because I quite liked it. So how we got here, that's a seven, right? That should be fine. So let's go ahead and do these. There we go. And try not to misplace any. There we go. Okay, we're doing doing good. Oh, and there we go. Then I misplaced one. Of course. You know, that's that, that's going to happen. You know, you, you guys know it's going to happen for Ben 5. So we got a middle there. And then we can go ahead and get rid of that one right there right so yeah let's go and get the floor in and we'll start on that so there is my other wood frames there i should probably actually i should probably keep that and move that up there there you go right let's go and do that so we can start um oh, coming you we can start at the floor here so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like quite a thin area in the back there but that should work just fine and let's go ahead and fill this in. So we'll start the floor, we'll build that up, and then see how we go. So floor is done, and let's just add that bit at the front. There we go. And then we can do this. All right, let's go and fill this in. So this won't take too long. And actually, while I'm waiting, let me go and build some wood half blocks as well, because that's what that's what I've decided I want to use for this. So we can get concrete ones, but I think wood half blocks are going to be fine. So let's get uh, 80 of them. I think that should be significant enough, but I don't know. We'll see. So let's upgrade the entire lot of these. And then we should be able to start putting the logs in and doing all that good stuff. Right, so that's done. And let's go and grab the logs and then we're going to start doing these on the edge. So let's see, we're going to have the logs going. I think three high should be a good good amount to do. And then we're going to have where the door is going to go. We're going to have a set of logs right there. And then we're going to do one in each of the corners and then we're going to work out exactly where I want them to go because I think that's actually halfway there so that might actually be pretty good so that's got one two three thing and then one two three there yes yeah, so that's actually gonna be like slap bang in the middle right there which is really good so I think I might have actually designed this pretty decently actually for ease of building which is always nice okay so you can do halfway halfway yeah that works for me and then I was thinking we could have like a window there so we're not gonna put any logs in that side Let's see, that's got... Okay, that's four long. And that is... That's five long, though. So that's actually slightly uneven. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to bring that out one more. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to bring it out one more. Because that'll make things easier for um, the purposes of calculation. So let's go and do that. And then we'll build up here. And then we're going to take out these ones here. And then we'll replace those flagstones with some additional wood and then we should be fine so let's swap those over bring it one back there we go so we can take those out and then i'm gonna go ahead and wreck these three 
and one, and two, and uh, finally three. There we go, so those are done, and then we can replace those with three wood frames, like that, and let's upgrade those. Cool. Okay, so now that should be a gap of five in the middle there, right? One, two, three, four, five, yes. And then we got one, two, three, four, five right there, which means that the middle of this section is, of course, right here. Which is really, really handy, because that means then I know where the middle is here. Because you've got one, two, three, four. So if I do a middle section right there, that will then line up perfectly with that. There we go. And then I can also divide these into two halves as well. Because I was thinking we could have some windows like between those two, which might be, might be quite nice actually. So yeah, let's do that. And then this will divide it up evenly along these sides right here. So there we go. So then we're going to do this, this, and then this. All right, that works. Next, we're going to go and lay a thing of flagstone all around the top. And what I'm thinking for this one is I might want to give it a flagstone roof instead of a wooden roof, just to be a little bit different. So we'll see. We'll see if that's going to work well for us in a little while. Let's just get this down first. So get get the frame built and then everything else will fall into place after that. So let's go and do that. There we go. And then we can go ahead and place one there and one there like that. Now I think I want to have a, a, a mini fireplace in this in this house as well. So I'm just seeing where I could potentially have that. Maybe right here because then we could do, if I get rid of... Hang on, I need my uh, pickaxe again. I don't know why I didn't bring my shovel. I was uh, a bit of a silly bugger for not doing that, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. I think I'd like a mini fireplace right there. So we're going to have... Uh, we're going to need a chimney there. So I think we have the campfire block there. Then we can have the chimney kind of built up from that point, which should technically work out just fine. Yeah, so we're going to need to do these ones, these ones... So it's going to be a very small fireplace. It's not going to be like the ones in the castle. It's going to be, you know, a really, a really tiny one. Just because I think it'll be, be kind of cute. So let's go ahead and lay these down. So we need these guys here. Then that's obviously going to extend up later on. But for now, that'll be fine. And then we're going to come back this way. There we go. So that's done and that's done. I'm going to take that one out there because that's where a burning barrel is going to go. So we can put that burning barrel in later once I go and get one. What's wrong with my guy? He's uh, thirsty. And I have no drink, so I might have to go back and get some very shortly. But that's okay. So let's go and grab the flagstone again. And we're going to build up back to that point. And then the chimney can just extend a little bit higher out as and when we're done doing the main build. So we're probably going to want to get rid of that one in the middle as well. Just so it looks like it's going somewhere. Yeah, because that's where it's going to go, and then obviously it's just going to filter up there. So then on the inside, we can just prepare where the fireplace is going to go. So let's get the uh, let's get the walls in. It's a very very rainy day today, so let's get the walls in. So we're going to start off by doing layer by layer. So I think I'd want a window around this area. I think that'd be good to have one there. So let's see where I want the windows. We're going to have no windows there, so that can be filled in completely. We're going to want a door there, so that can be filled in here. Then these ones can come to here. Did I say... I'd say a window there. So that's going to want to be around here. And then we're going to want... Yeah, probably a window at each of those as well. I think that'll look good. So a window in that one. And a window in that one. Because then you can kind of see the log poking through. And I think that looks really nice. Now, we're going to do, we're going to do something to sort out the inside. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do yet, but we're going to do something to sort that out. Because it kind of looks a little bit weird as it stands there. And then this side, I think we're going to have no windows, because that's where the wall is. So we don't really need any windows on this side of the house at all. Oop. So hopefully we're going to have enough to finish that bit off right there. And then I can go ahead and knock that out. There we go. Now to, I kind of want to hide the logs in uh, in the walls a little bit. So what we should do is get maybe some plates or something. Uh, actually, let's try the catwalks because I think they look really nice on the sides. So let's get like 30 of those for a sec. And they'll take a little while to build, but that's okay. 
k there we go so we got we got some because i think if we can hide those with uh if we can hide those with some catwalks that might look uh that might look okay let's see i need to put some extra there as well that's right i'll uh i'll deal with that soon so we want to do yeah we want to do this log here so we're going to hide that log away with this is there any other ones facing that way i need to hide no okay then we're going to hide Actually, no, I kind of want it the other way. Okay. That's the way, so I want it kind of that way. See, I, I want them kind of facing up, and then we can have like a corner thing there to make it look like it's being held together. I think that'll look very nice, actually, so we're going to try that. And then, obviously, the same for the same for this one, I think. We're going to want to have it just so it looks like the, the log's being like masked a little bit on the inside so that it doesn't look like you know there's there's a gap there so if we can hide that as best as we can then it's going to look uh, very nice once we're done so let's go ahead and do that one so yeah we're just going to go ahead and hide these away and of course if we need to replace any of those with any of the furniture stuff we can always just take these out again so it's just a, a temporary measure until we get the furniture sorted okay and then we should be able to get some poles as well so let's go and get some of those so a word pole. I think that'd be fine. Let's get like... Actually, I think I want to do that um, design I did in the other building, in Redneck's hunting supplies one, where we had... What I'm trying to say? Where we where we had the uh, the wood things over the, over the ceiling there. I think I want to do that kind of design again. So for that bit, we're going to put these up like this to make that kind of look like it's hidden in. Then on the outside is where the windows are going to go. So that looks fine. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine. And I guess I could block off... Is there any other, like, outstanding bits? Oh, yeah, of course. This uh, this bit right here where the logs are. That's probably one area that I want to deal with. So let's actually do one by the door as well. So we want to do these. And these just just to like hide the logs a little bit because that looks like on the inside that's I think that actually looks pretty nice it's different and I quite like that so we've got that and then we just need the plates on the windows there and then that should be enough for the window side of things that's looking good right let's get some wood windows and we're gonna place those in so wood window here we go let's get I think we're gonna need like 12 of them let's just get that many I don't know if that's how many we actually need, but I'm just having a rough guess. So, let's start putting those in. So, these can go in this side. And then, and they actually sit quite flush with that, which I think looks really nice. I quite like that. So, that works. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to smash that one though, unfortunately. And then, of course, we've just got these three on the edge. And, yeah, I underestimated by a couple. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I need two more. There we go. And that should give me all the wood windows that I need. And then as long as I don't misplace it again, which I did not this time, that's good. Right, next I'm going to go ahead and get a pole. And I guess kind of kind of try and hide the fact that that's, you know, not really attached. So just try to find sneaky ways to, you know, hide things, make it look like it's all, you know, held together because currently some of the things don't quite look right so just trying to hide those in in certain places like for example right here that kind of looks like there's nothing kind of holding the log there so we're going to put those there then we're going to put those there like that and then of course we're going to want one around this side and of course as i get like if i get other parts of the building in here then we can go and replace it but for now it's just a basic thing and as i add the furniture we'll replace the bits that don't quite fit because that works for now, and that is looking good. Yeah, I think that looks uh, not too bad myself, if I, if, I, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and add a thing above where the door is going to go. And then we'll add the mantelpiece on the fire as well. Let's use... Let's see, can we get uh, a cobble frame? Yeah, let's get some cobble frame plates here. Or what other plates can we get? Can we get... I know we can get a concrete plate and a centered one. Okay, we're going to use the cobblestone frame plates. Let's get five of those. And then we're going to put that going up the chimney area like this for now. So 
there, there, and then that's where the fire bit's going to be. So that one probably needs to be open. So you only need two. So it kind of doesn't really mesh in too well yet, but we'll we'll work on that. And then we're going to get the mantelpiece done. So then we can have it going this way. No, we want it going this way. There we go. So we can have a mantelpiece above the fire like that. Um, and that's going to be where the chimney goes and the fire is going to sit down in there. So we're going to have to get a burning barrel, which is fine. Let's get a door on the go. So wooden door. So one of those for now. We may, might want extra rooms, but where this house is quite small, I don't think we're going to need any extras. So now do we want the door opening on the outside or the inside? Probably to... Probably to the inside like that. So how's that looking? Yeah, it's pretty set in. It doesn't really look like there's too much missing. You can kind of see the catwalk there, but it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks, uh, I think it's acceptable. And let's see how that's looking from the outside. Yeah, I quite like that. And Oh, I just landed in the water, didn't I? Yeah, I quite, I quite like that, actually. So all we need to do, really, is get the roof on this thing, and then we'll have a pretty good build. I think, I actually, I'll say the flagstone roof. Why don't we have a cobblestone roof? Because we got loads of shingle roofs. We got a flagstone roof there, and we got one on the stable. Let's have a cobblestone roof to kind of go with that one there. And that, I think that would look very, very nice. Um, let's see how this uh, sledgehammer is doing as well. Okay, it looks like... Okay, that's looking like it's all dried now. So we should be able to finally finish this off. So Gritty, I hope you like this. Let's go ahead and finish this off for you. Because I've been meaning to do that. Just having to wait for the thing to dry. So let's do the outside first, and then we'll work our way... Oh, the inside first, sorry, and we'll work our way out. What is going on with my character? Just like, boing. <laughs> and then we can work our way out from uh, from that point. Let me jump onto frames and stuff so I can get a bit of a better angle. Let's do the bottom first, and then we'll work our way up. So... There you go, so that's those ones. Ah, oh, it's, looking, it's looking nice and shiny. Hopefully we're going to have enough uh, steel upgrade for this, but I think we should. I think we should have, because I did get a lot from the traders. So can I do that one? Yep, so we can do that side. So we should be able to do these sides, no problem. And then we'll go ahead and do the top. And then, of course, that one right there in the middle. There you go. So, Grinny, it's almost done. Your sledgehammer, your sledge is almost done. But there's another little addition that I'd like to, to place on that as well. All right, let's go up the top and then we should be able to finish off the top section as well. There we go. And then we just have to do this last little bit here. Wouldn't it be funny if it all just fell down now? I, I think I would cry if that was the case. No, it'd, it'd be fine. It won't fall down. I know what I'm doing, kind of. There we go. Right, that is done. So, gritty sledgehammer. Let's have a look at that now. Let's have a quick, let's come back and have a quick look. Yeah, there you go. That's looking cool. So, uh, the giant sledgehammer in the stone. There you go. So, uh, I hope you like this gritty, but I'm not quite done yet. I want to add a little bit extra to it. I should be able to do this. So, let's go and get some signs. Because that's what I need. So, I'm going to need... I'm going to need a G... I need two I's, an E, um, two N's, and an R. So let's go and get those. Okay, let's go and swap these out. So hopefully this is not going to cause the whole thing to fall, but let's see. And hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can see it on here. Oh, you can. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna. I'm gonna spell. I'm gonna spell Gritty's name on the on the thing here as well. So I and uh, yeah, that should that should work absolutely fine. So there's so we're gonna have an I right there. Yeah, look at this. And then we're gonna have two N's, and then we're gonna have an I right there. Let's get the E on the end, and then we can put the ends on. There we go. There we go. And there we go. We have we have Gritty's giant sledgehammer in the stone, and I think that's looking awesome. I quite like that. Oh, look how look how shiny it looks, and you can actually read the you can actually read it. So uh, it is said that whoever wields this sledgehammer wields unlimited power, and uh, 
that would be grind the gaming so there you go there you go gritty i hope you like the sledgehammer right anyway let's go ahead and get the stuff that we need to finish off uh victon's house as well so we are going to head back into the base and we need to go and grab some cobblestone frames and probably some more cobblestone as well to get this done so it's midday as well so the horde is coming very soon and that'll be in the next episode we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the horde fight i don't know if there's gonna be any challenges this time around but we'll see so let's go ahead and get the cobblestone we want i should also grab those torches and candles and things that could be that could be quite nice um to have inside and oh maybe these curtain things as well we could use yeah why not right i don't need the steel or the upgrade anymore so that can go back in here so we're, we're done with any of that iron and steel stuff now so that's all done so cobblestone i would like and do i have any cobblestone frame roofs i do but not very many so we might need to carry a few more of those i may need to make a few more um i do have those in plant fibers right in here yes so i should be able to make i should be able to make as many as i need so that should be absolutely fine and we'll be coming back to get more stuff and things for furniture and stuff for the inside of the house as well but let's go ahead and just build the main structure first and then we should be able to go ahead and build the interior okay so here we go so we're gonna go ahead and build the we're gonna go ahead and build the roof and then we're gonna go and do we kind of need some extra little bits on the outside as well just to kind of just to kind of give it some oomph because like this corner seems a bit i know odd right now i don't know if we need to extend the logs down to the base which might help it or anything like that looks nice with the chimney that looks good i just think we need to give it a little bit of extra a little bit of extra oomph on that side because this this looks fine but yeah this this side here need something more so we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with that so for now and did i just one shot that stone with a club that's amazing so you can actually you can actually one shot small stones with a club that's pretty cool okay let's go ahead and build some cobblestone frames let's do that so cobble frames let's get like 50 of those and then the main ones we're going to need are these frame ramps. So let's get some of those. So let's get, I think we're going to need like 80 of those or something. Because quite a lot. How many have you got? 90, that'll do. I can make a start on that then. Okay. So let's pull our way up here. And then we should be able to start making the roof. So I think what we want to have is on the initial layer, we want we want some cobblestone on the outside layer to hold it on because the cobblestone will hold on the uh the roof on the outside a little bit better so where are my frames going now because i'm i'm losing i'm losing the plot where they're going right there we go so what we want to do is do the outer layer with cobble like this because this will hold this will uh held this will hold the roof on a little bit better than if i was to use wood frames here because once it's upgraded to cobblestone it can take more weight than the wood put put simply so let's go ahead and do that and then we're gonna need to do expand the chimney up a couple so let's go and work on that bit next so i can probably not worry about the cobblestone things there let's expand the chimney up a bit so let's do it like there uh, two for now will do because we'll do, then at least i can jump over and then we can do it as size we need to later so these guys and then these guys and then at this point is where we're going to start to have the chimney coming around as well so once we determine how the roof is going to go then we should be fine so let's go and build the rest along here there we go so that's done to this point here and let's go ahead and upgrade all those and i've heard in uh i've heard in alpha 16 um that flagstone now upgrades directly into cobblestone which i really really like because i think it's i think it makes more sense that flagstone upgrades into cobblestone rather than adobe and adobe apparently has been uh, removed completely oh actually i should probably put my concrete away actually concrete might look, not look so bad let's try not to upgrade any to concrete though i'd rather save that for other things all right let's do that and see how we go 
so these ones can be done. But yeah, flagstone upgrading into cobblestone now is uh, something I really like. And they've also, um, which is great, it would have been great for actually this castle build, but they've actually changed it now so that flagstone has more shapes, like cobblestone. So flagstone apparently now has all of the shapes that the cobblestone can have, because that's what now upgrades into the cobblestone, which I think is really cool. But it's kind of a shame as well, because in order to get some of the things, I've had to use cobblestone and break the design a bit. So, kind of sucks, but maybe we'll do some kind of castle in A16. I don't think it'll be as big as this one. It might be like a, a smaller one. But I think it would be quite nice. I wouldn't mind doing another castle. Oh. Oh, and I double upgrade it. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and double upgrade those. We're going to smash those ones out. Because they're easier to smash out when they're double upgraded. So that's why I do it. I know it wastes more concrete, but it's okay. So these guys can come back out. Then we're going to go... Hopefully I don't mess this up again. Right. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. There we go. That's done. And then we just need to come back around this way. And do the same with that one. Because it's a lot easier if I just upgrade it. It wastes, as I said, it wastes concrete, but it's fine because it has less HP when it's in the wet state, so it makes it just quicker to take out. And for you guys watching, that's probably a good thing. Fine, there we go. Right, so now wood frames we're going to put across the top. So let's lay, let's lay the wood frames in. So then these ones are going to go like right here. I think is going to be where I want to put them to have like ceiling, or is it one lower that I want it? Hmm, let's see. Do I want it higher or lower? So like a so like a card game, higher or lower? You decide. Actually, I think we'll have it higher, because then we can have like uh, we can see the flagstone trim from the inside of the building. And I think that might look pretty nice actually. So yeah, we're gonna yeah, solid, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have it higher. And then we can start building the roof and seeing how we want to position everything. But I think I have a pretty good idea how this is gonna look once it's done. So let's put these in. And my bonus is going down because my character is super thirsty. That's okay. I got some golden rod tea I can use. And you guys are probably like screaming at the screen right now. It's like you're dying. I know. It's fine. Right. Let's go get some drink, and then I can come back and do some more stuff. I probably need to get some other things from the uh, castle anyway. To be fair, I probably could have got a drink when I was in here in the first time, but that's okay. It's all right. You know what I'm like. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Right. Here we go. My character's fine. I mean, they're only dehydrating. It's it's not the end of the world, you know. Okay, it, it, pro it probably actually would be, considering that you'd start hallucinating and having, you know, really, really weird things start happening. And yeah, that's probably not a good thing. But oh well, let's drink these. There we go. I'll check if I'm getting hungry as well. That's probably an idea. Is that it? Or do I need more? Oh, of course I need more. My character is a greedy bugger. There you go. That should get me. That should get me up in wellness again, though. Once I pair it with a meat stew, that should do me. Yeah, there we go. We're back. We're back to two fifty. So that works for me. Well, my my stamina still says two four nine, but yeah, we're at, we're at two fifty for definite. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, because that's been a thing in uh, a fifteen ever since um ever since a fifteen came around. Your health and stamina don't always race together. It's really weird. There you go. Now, it has raised now, look, but. Like, sometimes it will say, like, different values, even though your wellness says, you know, you're you're at 250 now. It's just it's just kind of odd. Okay. Oh, man, I'm, I'm loving Granny Sledgehammer. I love how shiny it looks in comparison to everything else. I think that's quite cool. It, it's, it stands out like a beacon. And that I quite, I quite like. Okay, so next we're going to go and upgrade all the wood into this stuff. There we go, let's do that. Oops, and I'll, uh, I'll downgrade that one in a minute. Okay, there we go. Let's do around this way. There we go, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that way. So, oh, bit of lag uh, causing me to go wrong there, but that's okay. There we go. So that's now the ceiling part complete. Let's go ahead and whack that one to downgrade that. There we go. Um, so I guess we could then expand... Actually, no, what I want to do here, actually, let's use... 
Let's use the cobblestone frames on the inside. I know I said I wanted to see the, the flagstone trim, but I actually, I think uh, maybe having a cobblestone trim. No, see, I've got a better idea. Wood stairs. Because that would look pretty nice inside here. Or flag, no, flagstone stairs. Let's get like, I don't know how many we're going to need, like 30 maybe? Let's get, yeah, let's get some flagstone stairs and try those. So I think that would look pretty nice. So where are you going? Pretty hard to see right here. It's probably going in my hotbar or something. No, it's not. Where are they going? Like some stairs? Wait, I am making them. Yeah. Oh, there they are. I'm being completely blind. Sorry about that, guys. Right, now I know where they are. Right, now I know where they are, then I can start working with these things properly. Right, so... Okay, so we're going to have them going along like this. And then we can have, like, some corners and inner corners on the outside. So we're going to need one... One there. Okay, we're doing... Okay, it's going around the other way. Okay, that works. So let's go and put these together. Then these ones. And then let's do these ones. Actually, that works there. That that, that works. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, pretty good. And then we've got these ones going along here. Like that. No, how's that looking? Yeah, so we just have to then fill out the uh, the corner sections. I don't know if... You, can you get flagstone in a corner? Let me just type flagstone and see what blocks you can get. No, you can't. Okay, in that case, I'll just use a couple of... Uh, in the inner corners, so I'll just use a couple of fill blocks. I mean, that should work. And it'll look like it's being supported anyway in most, in most of the corners anyway. Like that one, that looks like it's just been held. So that's working. So let's do those in here. And then this side. And then right there. And then right there. And then... I think. Can we have an outer corner ramp? We can't even have an outer corner ramp, so I'm just going to use that. How's that looking? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you don't really notice it too much because the flagstone kind of, is kind of—it's got so much detail to it that you don't really notice it until you like get here and you have a pretty close look at it, and then you see, oh yeah, it's a, it's a full. So I think that looks pretty good in terms of how we're going there. And then I wanted to use the—I uh, I do want to try that wood design in here as well, see if that works. So let's go and get the poles that we've had before, and then we're going to go and lay them. Yeah, I'd, I'm gonna, I'd say we should lay them that way. See if we can get a bit of uh, interior decoration going on here. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. There we go. And then we can just do the poles down this way until we get to the last one. That's looking pretty nice on the inside, if I do say so myself. So nice, uh, nice quaint little building, which I quite like. So there we go. So... I think I'm doing okay. Right, let's go ahead and start putting the cobblestone on now. So we've got the cobblestone frames. This might take a while to upgrade. So it, as I said, I, I might do the upgrading just really quickly off camera because then it'll be so much quicker for you guys to then just not have to worry about having to watch the whole upgrade process. But like placing them down, I can I can be with you while we just place them in. See how I can make the roof the way we like it. So we're going to want one there. Then we're going to want to come to here. And then I need to kind of put it against that. There we go. And then we're going to come around this side and do it from this side. I guess I could actually jump from the wall onto the roof if I need to as well. So that should be fine. I almost feel like I'm playing The Sims when I'm building this house. I don't know why. It just it just the, the, the image of the, the Sims came to my head. You know, where you can build all the houses up and things. It, it For some reason, that just popped into my head. I don't know why, but yeah, it did. Um, okay, I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with that part of the chimney there as well. Because I need that to kind of mesh in a little bit smoother. So that can go here. And then that one can go right there. Okay, so that's looking good for the start. And then we're obviously going to need some inner corners as well to work with the insides but we'll probably do the inner corners at the end because I've I found it's a lot easier to just kind of plan out the roof first upgrade the bits you need and then do kind of the more fiddly bits towards the end so let's go ahead and start building up this way so we need to go one there one there that's it and then we can come along like this and let's just make sure that we don't fall in the hole there we go. And then, as I said, we'll put the corner ones in. Because like the, the inner corner ones, in my opinion, are the, are the most tricky to do. So we'll do the outside ones first, and then we'll work out how we're going to go from there. Okay, there we go. So we can do this. And this. Now, I'm thinking, actually, for this bit, we should have an outer corner here. But then raise the roof up 
at this point right here and then kind of decide where it's going to go. So it's going to come this way. So the roof's going to be raised from that point. So yeah, let's build up this side. Because yeah, I'm thinking we could have that kind of design going on instead. Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try that. So let's go out this way. Just framing it up. And then we can decide what is going to be going where. So yeah, I think that's what I want. I want a regular roof panel there. Well, there is going to be actually a corner one. Yeah, let's get the inner corners now, just so I can lay them down at least, and then know where they're going. So wood frame. Oh, it's uh, inside corner, isn't it? It's called it's called different things for different frames. Yeah, I, I favorited it for a reason. I don't even remember. Didn't even remember that I put it in the favorites for a very specific reason. Okay. So inside corner. These are the tricky ones to kind of place. I'm not a. I had to. I had to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of these things, just because of how tricky. The placement of these things are. I probably need about twelve of them. I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll put these down now. Because you know, it's just these ideas that are, that are hitting me as we go. Okay. So that corner is lined up there. So that one is going to be a corner there. That one is then going to be a corner there. Okay, that's better. Now we can take out these ones. Yeah, that's uh, in my opinion, that's probably the trickiest part of the roof to build, is uh, getting this getting this stuff all lined up. Especially when you're like doing it out of cobblestone, and you know you can you can't always see the full shape of the frame. I think that could, that can make it a lot trickier. Okay, so that looks right to me there. Then that's coming out to that level. So then we'll have an upside down one there. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I mean, we could probably have an upstairs level in here if we wanted to. I'll see. I'll see. It depends on uh, it depends on time constraints and things like that, but we'll see what we can do. I'm trying, Victon. I'm trying. Right. So we're going to build this one and this one. And then we've obviously got to have this right here. And then we're going to kind of work our way inwards. And then all we have to do is just work our way onwards and to the top. Okay, that'll work. So then these guys can come here. These guys can go there, and that guy can go there. Yeah, I reckon a, I reckon a nice cobblestone roof is going to really suit this one. And then we can obviously do the chimney up a couple layers again. There we go. So chimney's up a couple, and that should be everything I need to then start placing the rest of these things down. Okay. So let's see how we're going here, shall we? So yeah, that should then allow me to do this one. Actually, I should probably make that bit a full block. Yeah, this, this, this side this side, and the other side is going to have to be a full block. And you'll see why in a minute. When we place the roof down, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're going, what are you talking about, Willis? You'll know, you'll know exactly what I mean in a minute. Right, so let's do these guys. Then we can do these guys. So I might need to replace that top one with a regular cobble frame, which again is fine. No problem there. And then we can do... Okay, there we go. And then I can start... Okay, let me just turn that to the direction I want it. That'll make it easier to build. And then this one is going to go there. And then that's going to go there. So that's why we need a flat block there. Just so it doesn't look like it's... You know, there's there's a hole in the roof, essentially. Because that would that'd look kind of bad. So let's try and keep it looking nice if we can. So then that one's going to go there. And then we've got these sides. All right, so that's that bit done. And then we've got to work our way. Okay, the trickiest bit is going to be these corners of the roof. Those are going to be the hardest bits to do. Because there's only set, there's only a set amount of support I have for those sides. So then let's do... Okay, let's do this side, considering it's uh, facing that way. So we'll do the tricky side. But luckily this side is a bit shorter. So that can go one, two, three, four five and then i think six is the maximum it can go before it's actually can collapse so that's actually just in time right there so that should work and then we're going to do the same on that side it's so going to do one two there we go and then from this side we can come six out and then i just had to make sure that i upgrade this in a very specific order four five six and then we're going to have one on this side 
So let's see if I can do that. There we go. So we're going to have one. And then we're going to build out this way. And that should be... That should be all we need then. So then we're going to need this one here. Then this one won't need a corner frame. Because that's going to then continue across like that. And then we just have to build up from this side. Okay, that should work. Yeah, I think that should work. So let me grab you though. So hopefully we're going to have enough to finish this. How many more do I have? I have 34. Yeah, that should be plenty. I think we're going to have... I think we're definitely going to have enough to finish this, actually. So that is uh, something that... Uh, that is uh, happy news for me. There we go. And then all we need is the regular... The regular ones there. And then we can go ahead and replace it. So let's take out this flagstone here. Which should leave that intact. So yeah, we just need the regular ones and the corner ones at the top here. And that should be all we need. And then we can go ahead and start doing up that cobble roof there we go so let's get some regular cobble frames which i should have plenty of those which i do that's good news for me right then we can start laying these down on there and then we can come away on this side and do exactly the same and then i've obviously got to do like the underside of the roof as well which i'll probably just uh, quickly do off camera once i've got this bit sorted so then this side we need to do those And on this side, let's see, we want, I think actually we should have an upside down. Hmm. No, actually, no, no, no. We'll have a, we'll have a regular frame. We'll have a regular frame there. So we'll have, use our last two regular frames for that section. And then we're going to use the inner corners just to flesh out the rest. And that should be everything we need to start building the roof. So I think I may have made too many inner corners, man. This is getting it's getting tricky to see now where everything is uh, kind of all meshed together now. Right, there we go. So there's that one. And that is that one. And I think we are pretty much ready to start upgrading all of the roof. So of course we're going to do from the, uh, the strong points first. Which is going to be this side right here. And, oh, did I upgrade use concrete? I did. Damn it. Never mind. Okay, you know what? Um, how much concrete do I have? Is there... A, is there... A, no, no, you know what? I've only got 75. Let's just chuck that away. So I don't keep doing that. That'll stop. That'll stop me, right? I won't I won't do it anymore if that's, uh, if that's all thrown away. There we go. And now I can go ahead and start upgrading those. And then, lo and behold, we should have, before long, a lovely looking cobblestone roof. So let's do that one. And that one, and then where else are the strong points? Because I always, you always want to do the strong points of the roof first. So this entire side is a strong point. So we're going to do those first. So essentially anywhere that's attached directly to ground or like one block away is, in my opinion, considered a strong point. So like this stuff here, that's all strong. That will work. As long as it's not going to fall if you upgrade it, that would be a pretty good indicator of a strong point. There we go. So those are strong points. And then, of course, like bits like this. See, it's right on top of the wall. That's a strong point. And then, of course, those bits that sit right to the side as well. Uh, additional strong points. And then once we've gone ahead and upgraded these, we should have a pretty good looking roof. And it's quite a, uh, quite a reinforced kind of look as well. Actually, I quite like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of that. I am liking it. It is uh, very much max approved. And then once we've done the strong points, the weaker points can then be upgraded as well. Okay. There we go. And then we can just continue around here. So that bit there is done. And then we need to come along here and do these bits first. There we go. And then once we've done that, we can just start going out to the middle. So there's those guys, and then we're going to work along the top. And finally, we can go down this way. There we go. That's done. And this one. And this one. And let's just see if there's any more strong points. Well, that one is a strong point because it's attached directly to the flagstone on the wall. So that's good. And then... 
these are now ready to be completed. And that is literally all I need to do. So now we can actually start filling in all the rest of the roof, because now I can literally work my way across without having to worry about anything falling down. There we go. See, it works. Uh, works pretty well. So yeah, as long as I do it in that kind of uh, in that kind of fashion, everything should be fine. So working from the outside in is always the best way to be doing this uh, structure integrity stuff, so that it doesn't all collapse and leave you with a sad face. Because it would suck if this all collapsed. Now that would be that would be pretty terrible. There we go. And then we're going to do from this side. So see, working from the outside in. And then once that's done, we should have the roof all ready to go. So it's 1628, so it's uh, getting time for Horde Night, almost. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then we should be able to upgrade those last ones very easily. So five, six, and then that is the limit there. And seven, and I think that counts as a pretty done and dusted roof. There we go, look at that, see? Nice uh, nice overall uh, turnout, so let's finish off the chimney, and then that should be all I need to do. So actually this one, I should be able to get rid of that without it falling. Yeah, this one can actually be the sideways one, so let's go and do that. So not the sideways one, sorry, the uh, diagonal one, that's the word I'm looking for. Can't even, uh, can't even get my words right today, guys, so let's go and do the diagonal ones, so we're going to have one there, and one there, uh, oops, I do, oh god, I didn't mean to fall off, oh well, that's fine, we can, uh, can I reach from there, oh I can, I think I can, I think I can, yeah I can, okay, so can I, can I get out the top there, oh. yeah I can, so those two, and then, those two, okay, there we go, so, oh, one, and, Nope, not that. Two. Cool, that works. We now have a chimney and a roof. So next bit to do is the uh, decorative stuff down on this side. So of course, it's, it kind of looks odd if you just leave kind of gaps there. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those gaps in with some extra cobble, because I had some more frames somewhere here. There they are. So now what we can do, this, is, this, this part is the easy part. We can just go ahead and do and let me turn this off so I can see the direction. I find that I can see cobble frames a lot easier once the light is off. Okay, so we're going to do this side first. So these guys can go there. And then we're going to do the other side. How's that side looking? Not bad. So this one, this one. And come on, that one. There we go. And then we're going to do these guys. And then we come back around. And we're going to do these three. There we go, and then all we have to do is just fill those in, and then the roof will look really nice once that's done. So I'm thinking that's going to be pretty good. So we've got those, and then there's one more right at the top. Can I get to it? Yes, we can. Good, just about. And then, of course, these last two. Oh, hang on. There we go. Last two, there, and there. And then all we have to do is literally upgrade a lot of those, and then that will look a lot better. Um, oh. There, that's looking good. And then let's just finish this off. And then at least the outer layer of Victor's house will be done. So I might end up uh, Victor on finishing it in the next episode. So we'll probably have the horde fight, and then I'll be able to have a little bit of time afterwards to finish off. There we go. Oh. There we go. So those guys and these guys. Come on, there we go, those guys, those guys, those guys. And then these ones. And I think that will count as a pretty done and dusted roof. Let's uh let's step back and have a look and see how that looks. Let's go on the uh let's go on the jetty right here for drifting pirates area and let's have a look and see how that is looking. Oh, that's very nice. Right, okay, let's get some more poles then. So wooden poles is what I want to get now, because I want to kind of just uh, frame the outside a little bit more to give it some more depth. So let's get another 40 poles. 
and let's go ahead and start doing some additional things. So we're going to go ahead and take that stone away. And we're going to go and put some poles. First of all, up the sides like this. And this will help probably uh, do this little section on the outside as well. Let's get rid of those as well. Right, so let's do these guys. There we go. And let's get rid of that one. And then we're going to do... We're going to lay some poles pretty much around the top. Just making like a trim. Now the corner one, obviously we're going to have to do something slightly different. Because you can't have... You can't have two poles in the corner. So I think what we'll do for that section is have... I guess we could just have a frame there. And then a pole going down to the ground. That should be quite good. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll have a frame there. Which we should be able to upgrade once. How does that look? Eh, hmm, looks a bit odd. Yes, it's because it's slightly too big, I think. Um, is there a better way I can do this? I could have a log, but again, that'll block out everything. I, I guess a frame for now, and then we'll we'll work on that a little bit later. Actually, no, we can do that. Look. We can do something like that, because then that looks like it's... Uh, that lo yeah, that looks better, because that looks like it's kind of holding out. I like that. Okay. Then let's go ahead and build up this way. So come on. There you go. Sometimes it's really hard to place these things. Right. These guys. Those guys. There we go. And then we're going to obviously continue that across here as well. And let's take out that one piece of ground right there. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put a pole on the ground down there. There we go. And then we can pull that up. There we go, and then let's go and frame this side in. There we go, so that's that's looking nice. And then we just have to do this side to where the frame needs to be. So what we'll do here is we'll have a, probably have a pole. You'll have a pole this side here. And I need some more of these. Okay, let's get like 30 more. That should be fine. Where are they going? There they are. Okay, let me see. I've done all the poles. Yep, I've done all the poles. Good. So we'll have one there, and then we'll go across this way. And I'll sort that concrete block out at some point. <laughs> I'll sort it out sometime. And then, of course, we'll just build down here. Oops. And you? I think that's looking pretty much how I want it. Let's take that out. Right, let's have a let's have a look back. Let's uh, let's step back a little bit and have a have a look at how it's looking now. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, so the next thing I want to do then is probably have probably have like a porch area. So let's take that one out and let's get an actual frame there instead, and then we'll build we'll build like a porch area over the top, and we can use cobblestone as well to make it look like it would actually be that material so we can do that hopefully that wood should be able to support it i mean i should know above above a lot of people if that should support it not 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 trying to sound on my own ass but i i should know i mean <laughs> making the uh making the tutorial on on this thing you know i really should know if i don't know then then god help us all um right let's see about getting the front sorted out as well so then we can go these three blocks here and then I think we'll have a couple more poles. Yeah, al already just by having that, that looks a lot. Uh, that looks a lot better just by having that little bit there. So I think that's uh, looking nice. And then we should be able to raise. Yeah, let's raise. Let's raise the pole up the side here to that point, and then we'll have this pole will connect to this. So we can we can always expand things out a little bit as well, because as I said, it, it makes it kind of less. It gives it less depth if it, if it's like flush with the thing. So if we can make it not flush, it will add an extra layer. I mean, I think that looks okay like that. That looks okay. I think if we add, if we expand the porch out one, I think um, on this side. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, let me take let me take it out and have a quick look. Is that better without it? 
How's that looking with that? Actually, I think that looks better without. That gives that gives it, that that gives it the perception of increased depth, and I like that better. Okay, so let's go ahead and do. I wanted to put fences on this thing. I would need to do insides. I need to do interior fences. Okay, let's go. Let's go do something a little bit different. Let's have this like this, and let's try some stairs on like the inside. I've never tried that before. Okay, so stairs on the inside. Let's go and do that. Because then we can have that, and then we can have like a fence on each section. That might be that might be quite good. Let's try that. Why not? Um, so poles. We can build these up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do. I need some more poles anyway. Let's get ten. That'll do. So as you can see, I I use a lot of wood poles, right? So, oh, I know what I can do to to help. We can do that. Yeah, I like that. Maybe even on the outside there. Hmm. Nah, I'll leave that. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Uh, do I want trim on the bottom side as well? No, I think I think the I think the bottom side provides it with enough. Yeah, I think the bottom side provides that with enough trim there. Okay. So let's get let's get railings as well. So let's do the railings here. So yeah, just trying to come up with exactly what I want. It's not it's not easy. Let's get like I think we need ten maximum. I'll probably end up scrapping most of those again. There you go. So we got ten of these. Okay, so that can go there and that can go there. So this is gonna mean that the other one needs to go on the outside. Alright, okay, I think I know how this is gonna work then. So we're gonna have two like this and then we can't have three there because we have to have it on the outside so then we're going to have two like that and then we're going to have to have two like this and then to kind of balance that out a bit yeah that should work and then we'll have these two like that and oh wait that's not going to work is it <laughs> never mind okay those two like that those two like that and then can we have something on the inside, or is that taken up? That's taken up. Okay, you know what? I think that'll be okay, actually. I think that'll do. Let's take that off. How's it looking? I think that looks alright. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look too odd. I mean, there's, like, ending points there, so I don't think that looks too odd. I think that's pretty nice, actually, if I, if I, uh, if I do say so myself. I think that looks okay. Um, so, yeah, we've got the railings now. And let's go and see if we can use some of these uh, curtains as well, because we managed to get some of these... And we may as well use them if we can, right? So, let's see, that's the curtains. Is that the curtain tops? Yeah. Because we may, may as well use the curtains if we can. So, some of them can go in there. I don't know if all these windows can have curtains because of the things on the walls. So, yeah, some of them can't. But as I said, if we need to add, if we need to add extra things to it, we can take these out. I mean, how does one, how does one look on there? Hmm. I don't think it really suits it too well. Okay. We're going to take that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the curtains in, in this building, I don't think they suit you too well. However, where I do think it might work is in the bedroom on Kelly's Bakery. I think they will look good there because that's an actual bedroom and we can have the curtains closed in there, which I think will be good. So let's improve Kelly's Bakery a little bit with some of these curtains because the windows are bigger there as well. Now, hopefully we're going to have enough for this. But I think she's got a window, if I remember rightly. Yeah, she has a window in here. So let's go ahead, actually, and do... Let's do the curtains in in here for hers. I think that'll look good. So let's make sure I'm getting the right the right ones. So we got the bottom ones. And we've got Okay, that's that's the top one there. And that's the bottom. Okay. So this is the top. Okay, so oh yeah, it has the it has the rail on it. So we'll have one there. And then we'll have one there. There we go. So Kelly's now has a little curtain in there. And why don't we do it with um why don't we do it with this fit as well? Let's do it for. I reckon this 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 one will be quite good to have one in. Let's do one there, and then we'll do one there. Yeah, I'm thinking that's looking better because now she's got a curtain over here and she's got a curtain over there. This window's not not so much of an issue, but those are the ones I think we should have the curtains there. Let's let's see if there's any other nice points where we can put the curtains. Got to be very mindful of the time. We're probably at the end of the episode anyway, to be perfectly fair, because we've been going for a while. So that one doesn't really need any... None of these are really 
houses though so i think i think kelly's is the one that re would really require it but i don't want curtains there because i kind of like the fact that you can see up there which is quite cool maybe oh actually i know a building that we that could definitely use it for sure maybe we should do we should do tapios i reckon tapios could use some of these curtains as well yeah let's go and do that let's go back to tapios we're going to finish that bit off, and then I'll end off the episode there. Because we've actually uh, we've actually done quite well. We built a, a whole new house, so we just had to furnish it, which we can do at the end of the next episode. And then I think we'll be pretty good. Right, so let's go to Tapio's. And we were going to want to use the curtains on the top windows, I think. So how many windows are there up here? Do any of these rooms have windows? I don't think the rooms do. But I definitely think the top room here could use some curtains. So why don't we actually put the highest curtain... Uh, which is the top, which is the bottom? Top is this one. Why don't we actually put the highest curtains like there? And then the lower curtains can go there. Yes, I'm liking that. That's good. And uh, let's see, is there any other windows I want down here that can have some curtains in? I mean, these ones I think look okay. I don't think they, I don't think they really need. Maybe this one, because this seems like more of the private, a private kind of area. And I have exactly, I have exactly six top curtains left to use. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go. We're gonna put six around the private area here, because I think that look pretty good. Why can I not put one right there? Oh, there's a table there, isn't there? Okay. In that case, we just have four. Then those that window can go without. But yeah, I think we'll just have have some curtains across random random ones. I think would be quite nice. And there's two there. Maybe maybe, maybe some right there as well. There we go. So now Tapios has a few extra uh, curtains in, and I think that's actually looking pretty nice. So let's have a look from the outside just to see how that affects things as well. Always good to uh, always good to see how it's looking. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite liking that actually, just to see, just seeing them in there as well. Like that window, I can now see the curtains on it, and yeah, I quite like that. I think that's looking really nice. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think we are at a pretty good point to end off the episode. So it's been a pretty long, uh, pretty long building one, but yeah, we managed to uh, finish off uh, Granny's sledgehammer. So her sledge in the stone is now done. You can see it like bright, uh, bright coloured right there as well, which I think looks really cool. And uh, we've made a start on Victon's house, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can finish that in the next episode. But we do have a horde fight to do, so. Hopefully, we're going to be uh, all good for that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!